be, you know, agnostic, uh, or I'll say uh, the educated part of society, uh, if you don't mind. Okay, help me, pray with me. And so we know that St. John's 4 and 24 says, God is a spirit. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. How is it that David prophesied about the Messiah to come, calling him God or Lord or Jehovah? Wait a minute. How can he be God and be just merely a man whose lineage will come through David? How could this possibly be? We know the answer. There is but one God, and God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Some folk would want to fight me because they think I want to take their Trinitarian uh, theology away from them. I have three gods, don't take them away. But all right, I, I won't I won't battle you. But can I give you a more excellent way of thinking about God? Uh -huh. To put it simply, God outside of flesh. God is a spirit. He was from the beginning. Where did he come from? He didn't come from anywhere. He always was and he always will be. He didn't come from anywhere. He's Adonai. He's the self-existent God. He is the Shama. He is the Elohim. He is the God of all gods. He is the Alpha and the Omega. He is the beginning and the ending. He is the I Am that I Am. Oh, He is God. Simply put, He is the God outside of flesh is called Father. The God inside of flesh is called Son. Wow. 